on its early early days into your time at Celtic, how have you found it so far? For now, uh, I'm, I really, really enjoy it. I think um, even with the last week, I couldn't have chosen a better start to be here. Um, it's a great atmosphere and uh, with these two big wins we had, we qualified for Euro, uh, we could win the first derby of the season, so it couldn't be any, any better. Your first appearance comes in one of the biggest fixtures. How did you find the experience of coming on in a game like that? I was, I was really grateful because I felt like we had an amazing team, team uh, effort on the pitch. Um, a good connection between the players, even though we had uh, many new players, it was for many players the first derby. And the at atmosphere we created, the team spirit we had with all the staff, with all the, the people around Celtic. I, I really, really enjoyed that and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to, 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 to be part of, part of that. Were you nervous about appearing in a game like that for your first game? Well, um, <laughs> um, lucky me, I had uh, quite exciting deb 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 debuts, uh, even with Stoke, I played my first game in Old Trafford. So it, I think it meant to be that I always have my first game quite, uh, quite a big one. And uh, no, uh, it, was, it was, was not ner ner nervousity, uh, maybe not in a bad way, more in a post positive pressure way. Um, obviously, when, when uh, El Hamid went down after 15 minutes, I was, I was warming up already. So I was warm enough when I, <laughs> when I came on, and uh, because of this great team spirit and also like the, the trust and the faith that the Gaffer showed in all of us player, the atmosphere we created, I, 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 I never felt like a, like a foreign piece. I really felt like a part of that team. And I think that's why we, in the end, we won that game well deserved. You were only on the field for 24 minutes, but you were involved in one of the most sort of dramatic moments towards the end. The player Jordan Jones came in, was sent off the challenge on you. What, what did you make of that as a, a finale to the match? Well, even as I said, I, I, I didn't feel it that bad on the pitch. I just felt like, well, it, 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 it was a foul. And then uh, after the red card, I was even a bit surprised. But uh, in the TV, it looks it, it looks quite as a bad tackle. But I felt like in the end of the game, there was maybe a bit of frustration, and uh, I didn't feel it like a personal attack. It's a, it's 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 a it's a bad time tackle, and lucky me, I I, I didn't in injure myself. Unfortunately, he he caught himself a bit, but I didn't feel it that bad. And the day after, we spoke as well, which I, I really really appreciate. So I think uh, we can swipe that off the table and uh, look. So the two of you have spoken. No bad feeling. No, no bad feelings at all. I think that's that's normal. Everyone, everyone as a player, um, we, we we know that you sometimes can can it can be dramatic or emotional on the pitch. I didn't feel like uh, he tried to to injure me or anything. It was just like a bit frustration as well about the result, and uh, so these things can happen. Obviously, I wish no one got injured. Unfortunately, he caught himself a bit, but uh, so nothing bad happened and. Uh, that's that's part of the part part of the derby. Could you tell us how that conversation came about, and were you surprised to? We presumably you received a call from Jordan Jones, did you? Well, even because I didn't I didn't injure myself or anything, I I, I didn't expect it, so I was a very positive surprise. And I think it's also a big compliment to him. It's a very fair play that uh, he asked about uh, how I feel if he caught me really bad or anything and he apologised for the tackle because I think as well in that moment he didn't like uh, wanted to, 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 to catch me or anything, it was nothing personal, it was just like an act of uh, emotion, uh, a bit of frustration. So this thing can happen, uh, shouldn't happen but it's not the first time in a, in a foot, foot, football game uh, someone got a, got, got a record for, for a bad time tackle. So we spoke and we, we, we were all good, no, no, no bad feelings at all. Having played in this fixture, do you now appreciate that fixture and what winning for Celtic in that fixture means? Do you appreciate it more? I think this, 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 these derbies are, are for the fans. I feel like uh, because, uh, well, obviously you couldn't start any better, but um, I don't know exactly the rules in Scotland. I think f even for this game, you get only three points. You don't, uh, <laughs> you don't get six points for it. So. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's, it's an important win. Uh, we wanted to, to, to start the season really well. And obviously it's, it's, it's great because we were a bit under pressure or the media made a bit pressure on us. And um, so it's another win for us, but obviously for the club, for the fans, for this amazing support we have in the city, it's, 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 it's great to, to, to give them the first uh, derby win of the season. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it's just another game, it's three points. Yeah, you touched upon uh, Old Trafford when you played for Stoke in your debut. How did it compare making your debut in this fixture to that one? 
It felt like, well, if you go with Stoke, and we were there in January, already like uh, a bit down in the table. If you go to Old Trafford, you, have, you feel like you have nothing to lose because everyone expects um, us to lose. And so before now the Glasgow derby, I feel like everyone wished that we, we maybe lose or uh, made a bit pressure. So um, there it was more to play about, even though as well uh, in Old Trafford they give three points as well only. So <laughs> no, it was um, for us it was really, really important um, because uh, people were a bit unsure and um, before that derby and also now in the club we have we knew what we were cap 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 capable of and we had a good start of the season even with uh, the qualification for Europe and we want to keep that um, winning way for like winning run we wanted to, to keep that going and so it was it was great and even now to have now with the national team break back of a of a derby win it's even it's even nicer in that game we saw this extraordinary long throw in from you is this something you've worked on or is it a god-given gift no, it's a uh, it's 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 the gaffer from my under 18s team <laughs> gift. Uh, he just thought uh, there I got converted to a right back, and he felt like just the wing, uh, like the the wing backs or the the right backs they should have a long throw in because sometimes it's more like if we're in our own half, uh, we can sometimes get out of a pressure if you have a a, um, a striker with the size what we obviously have. And then, yeah, everyone made jokes that I, I come from Stoke, and <laughs> there's quite one guy who's uh, world famous for his throw with <laughs> with Rory. Yeah. I spoke to him obviously last year as well. And yeah, even in our in, in in the opposite half, it can be sometimes a weapon if you have like the defenders or even the striker coming up and put the ball into the box. But um, it's about here up in Scotland, everyone is a golfer, so it's more about the technique than the power <laughs> with the throw-ins as well. And maybe then with the wind, with the windy weather, it helped a bit that it <laughs> flown even further. Sorry, on a serious note, it really does give you another attacking option if you need it. Well, um, I think we, we really try to, to keep the ball on the floor. Uh, so uh, um, I would rather like uh, be focused because of a good cross or something. Obviously, we, we had there two long crosses, which helped us a bit to get in the opposite half. It can be. Well, we, we did that in my, in my old, older teams as well. Um, that um, sometimes uh, you can put that as a weapon, even in maybe late stages when you want to make a bit of chaos in the opposite box. But um, it's always a long ball, it's always a 50-50. So we try to keep the possession and um, it can, it, I add this to the table. It shouldn't be the main main course, maybe. Sure. Is that something that Neil Lennon has talked to you about at all, about maybe utilising that going forward? Uh, I think we'll... I was just like uh, two times because I just came in Thursday or uh, Wednesday. I just was uh, more in a tactical session. Volts. We didn't um, had too much time. We had to prepare two very very important games for the club. So I don't think they watched all the videos of my throw-ins, or they <laughs> there were <laughs> more important things to do these days. But now in, in national team break, when we had um, more time for training, of course we spoke about it. And uh, yeah, we can we can use it this or the other way. On some point as well. Yeah. That feeling of, of winning the game at Ibrox and celebrating with the fans at the end. Where does that rank in terms of sort of good moments that you've had in, in your career so far? Well, um, I'm 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 very proud and happy to be honest because I, uh, when people after spoke to me, obviously I got a lot of messages, which I even realised even more how big the club actually is, Celtic, and uh, yeah, there have not been many players who won there in Ibrox, and so it's fantastic to be just part of a. Of a team team who, who who is able to play that derby and they even come on and win so it was really like uh, we call in German like six six right numbers in in in, in a lot lottery so and uh, for us it's it was no better no better bad better start of the season so I'm very happy for all of us obviously I enjoy that one as well. I think you've had that sort of big game experience with with Celtic. Are you now looking forward to to those European ties coming up and and hoping that you can be involved in them as well? Of course, of course. Um, I, I, I didn't uh, sign for for just one 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 game. I hope to be part of the of of, of the team all the season. Obviously, um, we have a great squad. What we what we showed in that uh, in that derby. So everyone has to play his part. And as all of the other 25 players, I would say in the squad, uh, I try to 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 give everything in training, give give make give the 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 gaffer a head, headache to to find the starting eleven, and be part of it. But yeah, now I'm looking really forward to play the first home game then, uh, about in 10 days, I assume. So I really want to play in Celtic Park because I think this is even bigger and more more iconic. 
What do you make of the challenge of competing with Hatem Abdelhamid for that right back spot? I think it's, it's good. Uh, I think he's a different type of player. Um, he came in as well, uh, quite new. I think he, he played really, really, really terrific. Uh, great game. Not only him, all the back four. I think we were really, really solid. Um, and I think um, I'm, I'm a different type of player, different, different type of fullback than he. So um, I, I add this to the squad. Uh, the gaffer has, has to as well. Uh, depends on the tactic for the game. He, he can choose different type of players. And it's good that you vers versatile. Um, as, as a squad as well, so you, you, you can play different systems maybe as well because we have great centre-backs and uh, even with Boli who is great going forward, we have even maybe wing-backs. So um, I think we have a very, very balanced squad, even like uh, that's, that's, that's good for us because it's going to be a lot of games and a lot of different games as well. We've obviously seen more of him than we have of you so far. What do you think you can maybe offer that's, that's different from Ate? Well, I didn't see that much of him neither, to be honest. Uh, I just really enjoyed the way he defended on that game. He, he's as well uh, with the national team now, so uh, he, 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 he did a great job, even though he was, I think, a little bit injured. As, and uh, so I just bring on my own qualities in terms of uh, I think I have good pace, I, I think I have a, a good at attacking game, I can add to attack. And, and then it depends what, what, what's, what's the gaffer demanding. I think uh, when they signed me as well, they made some research and uh, thought about what they can add to the squad, how they can st strengthen the, qu the, the squad even more, the board. So I think we're, we're very well balanced and um, I try to give my best. Obviously, everyone wants to play. Uh, everyone who is sitting here and say, I, I don't want to play would, would, would have been lying. So um, I try to give my best and then um, hope, hope I catch as many minutes as possible. You mentioned Stoke there. Why do you think it didn't quite work out with Gary Rowett, and does that give you any extra motivation with this move? Obviously, uh, I didn't. I, I, I didn't play a lot, but uh, that had different reasons. I think last year was for everyone very disappointing in Stoke. I think everyone who is involved uh, doesn't matter if now the gaffer, the supporter, the board, uh, the players. Uh, we had a big target to to, to bounce back and, and and get back up, and obviously from the results, no one is happy. And then uh, yeah. I think we have to take everyone to blame. Obviously, yeah, for me it was personally disappointing because I didn't catch as many minutes as I expected or what I was hoping for or I was counting on. And uh, so uh, everyone, everyone wants to play, as I said by the question before. Uh, all the footballers, they want to be on, 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 the, on the pitch. So, yeah, I, I feel like I have uh, quite a point to prove. And uh, it's not... It's, 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 it's not a usual move to come up here. I think it's, it's, it's not... A, the last option you choose so as soon as I heard Celtic I was really buzzing because it's an amazing opportunity to play in Euro to play for titles so even that's why I want to really pay back the, the trust or the faith they, they the board have put in me the gaffer has put in me so um, I'm, I'm, I'm really here to 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 pay back and prove a point and be part of a successful team just finally for me if I'm right in saying you changed from playing under 21 in Switzerland to Austria is that right that was also <laughs> quite a funny story because yeah, I, 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 I was born and uh, I grown up in Switzerland and played uh, a couple of times, uh, several times for different under under 18s, under 19s and under 21 squads. And then uh, on some point uh, the newspaper got, uh, got somehow a rumors that I have the Austrian passport because I needed to, to renew it, otherwise I would have lost it. And on that time the... Um, there was a demand of a right back in Austria as well, and there was just I had a really really great contact um, with the team manager at at that time back, and uh, they asked me if I could consider. And sometimes with uh, a lot of changing people in football, I really love to work with great people. What we have obviously here, that was one of the main reasons as well, which I was absolutely convinced to come here and um, to have a good relationship, to work in a positive atmosphere. They made me feel that, and so it was. It was uh, quickly decided that I, I make the move to Austria because my father is Austrian, so <laughs> he, he, he was obviously <laughs> really happy about that because he was always more into football. And then to, to meet all these new people, because like when you play under 18, 19, 20, you know everyone, you know everyone. And that gave me a, a completely new horizon, new people, new, something new to learn, something new to, to adapt. And it was... It was absolutely the right choice because um, I had every time when I've been there in Austrian national team now, I had an absolutely great time.